Ready? Ain't nobody want that conflict, conflict. Shining in a brighter than a common, common. Pick that issue when I hit you like a missile. You've been not rocking with that pickup, fix up. So the first time in a while, I wasn't actually aware that this update was coming out when it was. So basically, the new anniversary update is out. And if you don't know what that is, basically, you can play the new... 3v3 anniversary mode, which is literally the supersonic acrobatic rocket power battle cars map where the goals are actually out of the wall. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I've played it. It is quite a lot of fun. It is a bit weird. Like the ball often does get stuck around the back of the net quite a lot. And usually it's not very um, competitive because it is casual, which, you know, makes sense. It's casual and competitive. But uh, nevertheless, that is fun. And we have got these the event currency, which is balloons. But it's not like other events. There's not as many items. But you also can't buy crates from this event. All you can do is get golden eggs. Now, I got the golden egg, this first golden egg that I've already bought and opened. Um, <clears throat> pretty soon after the update came out, you know, I grinded just non-stop games to see what was in this golden egg. And here's what you need to know about the golden egg if you don't know what it is. Basically, it's like a crate and you can get any item in it. I'll explain a little bit more about that. You don't need a key to open it no matter how you get it. They're always like open, ready for you to just like unlock sort of thing. Or they're always unlocked, ready for you to open, I should say. Um, and after, like, it's been a day, so the knowledge that I've gathered from the golden eggs that I've seen and posts that I've seen, uh, is that you can get any, any C1 to C4 items, so any champion's crate, any OG items. So, I'm gonna open 20 golden eggs in this video, which to my knowledge so far is the biggest golden egg opening, but, you know, I'm recording this, you know, a few hours before it's uploaded, someone might, someone else might do it, blah, blah, blah. But before I do that, I wanna give a massive shout out to the sponsors of this video, and that is Lolga. They help me out massively with these Rocket League videos, and without them, honestly, a lot of these wouldn't be possible. So, I'm gonna play a new sponsored intro that I'm gonna make, and, uh, yeah, check it out. Check out their link in the description. Use my discount code. Um, you can literally buy keys and stuff for cheaper using my discount code than you would in game it's amazing they're all tradable it's great so I'll play the sponsored intro, and then I'll get in and open these golden eggs. If you guys are looking for a place to buy Rocket League keys and items, then you need to check out the sponsors of this video, Logger.com. You can head over to their website. It's really, really helpful. Just order what you want, put your order number in the live chat, and they'll get back to you straight away. Be sure to use the discount code PIXEL at checkout for a 6% discount, which means you can literally buy keys and other stuff for cheaper than you can buy them in the actual game. They've got a brand new trade-up section, which is really useful for getting items in bulk. And of course, they have gift cards and other stuff that you can buy, so it's a great way website check them out using the link in the description and as i said don't forget to use the discount code for six percent off your purchase the reason i grinded so hard for one particular egg was that i basically was gonna do a video showcasing what you could get in the egg but then i opened it and it literally just says mystery item and rare decal i in my first one got a dominus snake skin and then my friend kieran he got an x devil mark ii striker certified which is pretty cool so before he got the x devil i thought you could only get decals because it says rare decal but that is not the case you can get wheels you can get painted wheels you can get black markets, but so far, to my knowledge at least, it's only in the first four series. So I don't think you'll be pulling a Fire God Dissolver 20XX or anything like that. But you can get a Heat Wave, you can get Zombers. So that's kind of what we're going for, I guess. There's no spinning animation because, um, I mean, yeah, there's just mystery items. So I don't know what they would spin. It's cool that it's the party time thing. And you can do Golden Egg Series trade ups. So thinking about that, I'm guessing it's almost like C1 to C4 trade ups all in one. So you can take what used to be three C1 very rares, one C2 very rare, and one C3 very rare, and get an FSL wheel from the C4 series. That, to my knowledge, is how it works. So we're going to open these 20 golden eggs. It's literally like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. You remember that scene where he's just like... Who wants me to open it? Yeah! Do you want me to open it? Yeah! It's kind of like that. And that's what we're doing right now. So let's do the first one. It's going to be... The Warlock. Okay, so I've had two certified very rares with my first two golden eggs. Let's keep going. Shisa. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. So, so far, we are sticking in his champion's crate. Come on, be, be better than this. Oh, let's go. We got some painted FSL wheels from the Golden Egg series. Let's have a little look. Okay, most recent. Let's do most recent. They are, I think, yes, yeah, Saffron. Saffron FSLs, they were the one. They were, they were sick back when they came out. Um, how long ago was it? A year and a half ago uh, they came out, I would say. That's really cool. All right. Dot Matrix, that scenes. And also, um, I obviously, I got the black tunicas in my um, sort of import drop trade-ups with all the painted cards and stuff. I really like them. I've been maining them since this update. And obviously, I prefer the Striker White Zombers. Like, yeah, I really like them. But these are just so clean. And I didn't realize they were like 10 plus keys, which is kind of cool. 
But uh, anyway, next golden egg is the Dragon Lord. It's all OG now. And then there's the Roadhog Wildfire. I think it's cool. That's a C4 decal. It's cool for me opening these eggs because I was actually around for these crates and when they came out. So I, I do recognize all the items. If you've just been playing Rocket League for a few months, these might be a bit dead to you. But at least there's the element of nostalgia, if nothing else. Oh! Painted Discotex! What? What? I, is the luck, like, better with these? We've had we've got some painted Discotex now. It's been a long time since I've had painted Discotex wheels. I, they're the only ones in my inventory. Lime. <laughs> what? The golden egg luck is insane. All right, let's keep going. This is actually this is actually exciting. It feels like, from what I've seen, that maybe the luck's a little bit better. Or maybe my luck's just good. I don't know. Trinity. I was like, is that painted? But then, yeah, it's, it's Trinity. Good, good times. All right. We're not even halfway through yet. This is awesome. Takumi RXT import body. That would be good for trade-ups as well. Okay, halfway through. We got painted exotics. We got painted imports. So, yeah, you can get literally anything that you could get in the C in the champion series, basically. And uh, the Mondo is definitely something I will not want to see again. Octane CSR. This is good. I think we're going to be able to do an import trade-up, which means we could get painted zombies in the... A golden egg painted zombie. That would be pretty cool. Oh, gosh. The Hotshot High Tech. Probably one of the worst ones. I think primarily for the car, like, it's not the best. But let's go anyway. Let's go again. The row kill. Again, C4 not... This wasn't terrible. With the right colors, it could look kind of cool. I do like it's the OG skins and, like, clean, simple wheels. Um, and also, when you first update your game, the trade-ups are, like, really... Um, they're really bugged. Like, my wires caught on my chair. And, okay, there we go. Um, the trade-ups are, like, bugged. And it you, you kind of, like, it lumps all the items together. But I actually, because I did the golden egg last night, um, I can do trade-ups, like, nice and easy in the same series. It'll all be good. So I'm excited for that. But we've still got six more golden eggs. I'm going to do a no-look. A no-look egg. Oh, God. <laughs> the OG C4 Mean Streak Rare. Another rare. Breakout Turbo. The C3. Oh my gosh, distortion. I thought for a second that was like heat wave. <laughs> Someone tweeted at me on Twitter saying, Oh my god, I got I got a um I got a heat wave from a golden egg. And here's the best thing about golden eggs, right? To my knowledge, I think this is the first time any person playing Rocket League can get tradable crate items like black markets and stuff without buying keys. Because Decryptors, you could get those for free by playing the game, but they're not tradable, so they'd just be for you. But you can finally do a nothing to something in Rocket League by never spending a penny other than just, like, actually buying the game. Because you could play the, play your games out, get 10 golden eggs, get, say, painted discos, painted FSLs, a black market decal. Then you could trade those for keys and literally do a nothing to something, literally with nothing and just gameplay, and then getting the golden eggs. Because you don't need keys to open them. So this is the first time someone who never spends any money on the game can get tradable crate items. So that is a huge step. And hopefully that's a, a sign of good things to come for the Rocket Pass. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Okay, so final golden egg coming up now. Looper. Oh! <laughs> I mean, they don't really look painted. I think they're one of the dodgy colors. We've got painted loopers, painted discotheques, and painted FSLs. Okay, let's have a little look at these loopers right now. Because I don't know what color they were. Like, some kind of dodgy little... Look, see, this is why I don't trust the most recent. It's kind of broken. I don't know. Let's go exotics, painted, cobalt loopers. Yeah, that is the kind of looper that literally just is nothing. Uh, but hey, we got them. So now we're going to do the trade-ups real quick. Let's go to rare. Golden egg series. Here we go. Here we go. We can, we can keep one. Uh, let's keep the Victor Shisa. Actually, no, I'll keep the Dragon Lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. We're going to get the breakout distortion. Okay. Rare. Most recent. I don't know if I trust this thing, you know. Hey, there we go. Right, Golden Egg series. Let's go. Takumi Anubis. Man. Old times. Okay, we can keep one. We'll keep the dot matrix. Striker Takumi Anubis, though. Rotog XL. Okay, I hope we have enough. Oh. Saffron FSLs. Okay. The Saffron FSLs look really cool, but I kind of want to trade them up. 
Okay, genuinely, I know normally I trade up a lot of painted items, like I trade up painted octanes, which I'm going to stop doing, by the way, because I might do a series like trying to actually sell my painted octanes and stuff in the future. But um, normally, normally, I promise you I would keep these, these painted FSLs. However, it is a mystery item, Golden Egg series, the first time I would have ever seen an import trader from this series. I really want to see what exotic I get, blah, blah, blah. I think because it's a new, a very new update, a very new thing, a lot of you guys will want to see it, so don't hate me. But I am going to trade it up just to see what we can get. Oh, okay. Purple ARAs. Uh, purple is very easily distinguished in this game. And uh, those, them some purple ARAs. They are. Okay. Okay, so that begs the question. Oh, because I will do other Golden Egg Crate because they're pretty cool and the trade ups are very exciting. Can you, like, are they always painted on the import trader? Because obviously I've only done one. Maybe my luck is, like, really good and it was, it, they're not always painted. I just got lucky. Just bump the mic, I'm sorry. Um, but we'll never know. So we did get, we did, we essentially traded the Saffron FSL for the Purple ARA, which still isn't really worth it. But hey, it was worth, it was worth the, um, worth the experiment for me. So that is going to do it for the 20 Golden Egg opening. It's interesting. It's like, it's OG, it's old, but it has that new flair. The trade-ups are very interesting because you can get one of them. To my knowledge so far, as we said, one of eight um, exotics rather than one of two like you would normally get or one of one if it was like a, an event crate or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. You can still get black markets. So I think there will be more golden egg crate openings on the cards. But nevertheless, that is going to do it for this video today. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Check out sponsor uh, the sponsor Logar in the description. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. I have been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. <laughs> Flying in a missile, haters throwing shade, never pick me, not an issue. I am a beast, I'm at the top, I run these beats, I hold my spot, so stop before it hits you. It's bigger, pixel.